Oh, but uh, no. Um, <laughs> moving on to the next shot, guys. <laughs> was it? <laughs> A freaking um. Social media. Social media. Yes. The end of, <laughs> yeah. How long can social media last? And are we seeing it waning? You know, um, uh-huh. where are we with social media? And, and if it went away, what would that mean for society? So I start off by saying this. Okay. Uh, last year, mm-hmm. reports were that every platform was losing followers. Mm-hmm. I don't know if TikTok was in that, uh-huh. but every platform in general was losing either followers or engagement. Basically, people had started to kind of shed away from social media, uh-huh. which is kind of opposite. Well, I guess when you think about it, if you look at every single platform, mm-hmm. you do kind of see this kind of like uh, downhill move. Yeah. Like Facebook definitely has had uh, depreciating engagement. Mm-hmm. Twitter, Twitter's appreci- it seems like it spiked up, but that's after a mm-hmm. heavy drop off mm-hmm. from when it from its like peak. And Instagram is also seeing the same thing. Mm-hmm. So the question becomes, what happens, you know, if these continue to fall? Like, what happens if social media uh, loses its place in society? Because it's become, like, social media is the thing, right? Yeah. It's the thing. Yeah. And, and, and so much so that, like, whole industries have sprouted up around it. And, yeah. and advertisement dollars mainly go to, I ain't going to say mainly, I don't have the numbers on that, guys. Uh-huh. Um, a, a lot of advertisement dollars go to mm-hmm. um, social media. I don't know. It's a very odd thing because I I am old enough to remember life before social media. Yes, but I don't want to. I don't think I want to exist without it. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but I, I do recognize back. how toxic it is, <laughs> yes, right? Like no, I do yeah, recognize completely. how toxic it, it is. But at the same time, it's like, yo, it's like it's a lot cooler and a lot better to know what your folks are, are doing and, yes. and to be able to stay engaged in the lives of your friends and stuff. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. To that end, I think like maybe that might be the dec- the decline that we're seeing that people are kind of returning back to just hey man I'm good with just knowing what my friends are doing I don't really care what everybody in the world is doing and that in mm-hmm. fact it might be overwhelming yeah you yeah. know what I mean huh I will say that I do know mm-hmm. that um I I do know that uh about a year ago year or so ago um which could have an effect on these numbers of the numbers dropping off yeah was that a lot of the social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, um, start to heavily crack down on bots. Mm. They start to get rid of bots. That's That was that uh, yeah. about two years ago. That was probably about a year and a half ago when people started being like, you know, people that start jumping on being like, dang, I lost like 500 followers in a day. It was like, well, yeah. all those 500 followers were like bots and things yeah, like that. Yeah. And it was cleaning these systems out and not allowing them to kind of just persist in this kind of weird space. I think. Which is a good thing. Which is a good thing. Yeah. Um, I think that um, social media is, I, 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 you know, I think that it is here to stay. Okay. I think that if the numbers are dwindling down, I think they're probably settling into something a little more regular. Sustainable. Exactly. Yeah. I think that probably it's, it's I, I think that we're just, I think that social media is one of those things where it's like, to me, social media is like when TVs were invented. I think that there was probably a boom and then there was a settling into like, okay, well now these people have TVs now. And yeah. And, you know, cars and there was a boom of everybody trying to get a cut. And, you know, same thing that happened with, you know, uh, smartphones and, you know, it's like, mm-hmm. you know, it's like with the iPhone. He's like, at one point there were just lines and lines. And it's like, <laughs> well, it's not lines anymore, but a yeah. lot of people have iPhones now. So they just have them and it's kind of a casual thing. Yeah. I think that that idea that, you know, I think that we are definitely past the idea of people thinking that they could just live without them. Or mm. that they were without a, social media. Yeah, like they were just like, oh, mm. I'm just gonna like not be a part of this at I, all. I, yeah, it was one of those things where it's just like now, if you are a person who decides that you're gonna live without social media, it's kind of like a person who's decided that like we have friends who like are like, oh, I don't watch television yeah. at all. Yeah, it's like, well, cool. Can you survive and do that? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna be behind on most cultural things? events? Yes, definitely. Yeah. You'll probably be behind on most things. Um, and that's fine. I mean, if your job doesn't require you to be in the no, no like yeah, that, yeah. but if your job does, which a lot of people's job does, yeah. um, you're on social media. Well, well, I think, I think that maybe, I think there's a strong movement of people who are cutting off social media completely. 
if not cutting off completely, taking long, long uh, sabbaticals. Uh, sabbatical is probably a strong word for that, but no. Uh, <laughs> but no. <laughs> sabbatical, like, damn! I removed my. <laughs> no, but they're taking breaks. Um, people, I think people are taking breaks, and I think people are getting less from it than what initially they were able to get from. I think there's a lot more stress coming from it mm-hmm. than it started off as. Mm-hmm. People, you know, yeah. as in that settling period. People are starting to now compare, right? Mm -hmm. So social media, let's let's start back in the days of MySpace, Mm -hmm. was just a fun way for you to be creative and and show your your swag and show show who you are and all this stuff. Yeah, 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 all Mm -hmm. that. And but there wasn't much stress to it. I think the stress had started, but we didn't realize it. It was like we didn't. It was like 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 keeping up with the Joneses. Somebody changed their their MySpace page to Mm -hmm. SpongeBob with bling on. Yeah, everybody else got to flip it to Cadillacs with rims. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was like, <laughs> you know how that <laughs> used to be, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what, folks, what song you got playing in the background? I know it's got to be the <laughs> latest. <laughs> Throw some D's on there. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, man! The yeah. Music Soul Child or something. You know I mean? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm poetic. I gotta show my, I, yeah, show my exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else got Soldier Boys on there. I'm, like, I mean, I'm, I'm a little, deeper than a that. Music Soul I, Child. I, I on do there, poetry. <laughs> no, that type of. But you, you know, so yeah. MySpace started it, and it wasn't as stressful because I think yeah. the people, the generate, the millennials started who pioneered um, yeah. social media. You know, uh, we was teens, so yeah. life wasn't that serious. Yeah. But then, you know, you get into the Facebooks and the Instagrams now at this age, and then it becomes this thing of like, oh, like what are they doing with their life? How mm-hmm. much money are they making? What kind of car yeah, do they yeah, have? For sure, you for know what I'm sure. saying? What kind of house? Oh man, this person just bought a house. I ain't got no house. Uh-huh. You know that, that, yeah, that that's yeah. how it starts. You start to and this kind of artificial stress starts to build up. Yeah, and I think the other Gen Gen Z and maybe even Gen Z, Gen Alpha have taken clue from that and uh-huh. kind of just fallen in line and done the same thing. Uh-huh. You'll see like <clears throat> the you know these these teens and and these kids have stress that it's like why. The you just stress. Yeah. I mean, we've seen the rise in suicides yes. from the younger population yes. because of yes. online communities. Yes. And so it's like, wow, what the fuck? They followed kind of in our steps of, of this kind of yeah. depression because they've gotten on it earlier than us before yeah. they could even realize what how to even how the hell to even deal with the stress of knowing it what everybody is doing at one time. No, There's a weight of yeah. omnipresent uh, of, of omnipotence, right? Oh, for you, sure. You know what I'm saying? The, I'm not yes. saying you know everything, but you, you, Yeah, you no, for sure, for sure. I will say, I'll say um to 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 the point that you're making. Yeah. I will say that um the falling off it, it I think that it really will be a settling into probably people having a healthier relationship with social media i think so you know maybe not constantly being on their phone it was the same i like like i said with like the iphone it was like do you want an iphone still yes Mm -hmm. do you you kind of you know you don't need to stand in the line on opening day to get this (laughs) damn thing like just you know know, it's it's, it's, it's not that serious like just you know you know get it whenever you can don't stress yourself don't break your bank account not at all it's just a regular phone you know it's like that kind of casualness i think now to social media like you can start to see that like even you know certain things like twitter people aren't um so um focused on like follower account on twitter anymore just saying whatever the hell they and got just like i don't mind. care if you know it's like the same as like yeah. facebook yeah. like you know like I, I remember when facebook first started and people were just in a mad dash to have as many friends as possible for sure they were just for like oh, sure. oh how many friends you got oh I, I hit the max limit they told me i couldn't have no more for this month you know that was like a thing you know what I'm it saying? was it and was. then eventually in the old days of social media bruh, <laughs> in the beginning exactly in, in the beginning in the beginning <laughs> y'all don't remember y'all some of y'all younger than us millennials y'all don't remember <laughs> but i remember <laughs> <laughs> don't quote the don't quote the book to me. I was there when it was written. <laughs> that was so. But but and then it became a thing of like people having um, Facebook accounts that were like, I like my Facebook account to have as little friends as possible because I don't I've want y'all muddying up my. Feed. I actually want to deal with my family. And exactly. Friends, I just know. want to deal with the people who my, my, my homies yeah. and I really don't, I, I'm making everything private all of a sudden. Yeah. And I just want my close friends to be a part of my social media experience yeah. instead of it being just like a plethora of a hundred thousand people, you know, saying, and that I think that people are starting to, or at least trying to have a bit of a healthier relationship yeah. with it. Um, yeah. And I mean, because at this point it, it, it getting 
completely uh, going completely away from it would be like if one of our parents decided that they stopped reading the newspaper back in the day or I'm watching a, CNN. A, it's like, well, no, yeah. this is our TV. Like you yeah. guys had the you guys had the newspapers and TVs, and it's like, well, this is kind of our thing that millennials yeah. came up yeah. with. This is a millennial thing that we do. We created social media, and this is how we talk to each other. Yeah. You guys talk to each other through newspaper articles and yeah. taking out bits and pieces in the news. Yeah. If you could have talked to 100 people at once, you would have as well. Well, so the thing about it is like, uh, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I find it completely weird if a person has no profile at all. No, like no pro- none, none. <laughs> oh yeah no no that's, that's a little strange to me. oh for com- com- and i don't know if that's weird because you know social media has made me that way but i think it's had profound effects on that i think it has i think it's had profound effects on relationships because um you know we're talking about mm-hmm. the, the realization that you can know or yeah. contact so many people at yeah. one time. That's just nothing that a generation before us had the ability to do. Yeah. And so it's really warping relationships. But I got the rap, so I gotta cut that off, guys. Yes. If you want to hear more, please reach out or post I a mean, comment on the YouTube. On a, on our social media. <laughs> on our social <laughs> Contact media. Contact us on our social media. If you don't have it, don't worry about if it. If you don't have it, what are you doing, you weirdo? <laughs> stop stop being weird. Just <laughs> make a page. Exactly. No, no.